I'm Jake McCampbell. I'm the CEO and co-founder of String King. We manufacture apparel in Los Angeles. You know, the beginning of the pandemic, we found that a lot of factories in Los Angeles were shutting down. There were a lot of people and equipment and experience in garment manufacturing. People were looking for work and people were also looking for masks. Partnered with about 30 other factories in Los Angeles to make as many reusable face masks as we possibly could. A lot of hospitals on the East Coast were looking for more isolation gowns. So we started manufacturing isolation gowns in Los Angeles as well. As we were scaling up this production process, hunting really became a, a bottleneck. We looked at you know, who we could partner with to bring us machines really quickly, something that's really high quality with great service. And we went with Tuca. Right now, we set up a new cutting line, three tables, three cutters, three automatic spreaders, and you know our output has just been awesome. We've been running our cutters anywhere from five to seven days a week, typically two shifts right now. So we're running 16 hours a day. One big thing with the isolation gowns is, you know, we really want to stack as many layers as we can, but fusing really becomes an issue. Tuca had a solution for us. They have a liquid cool blade, even a plastic film. We can stack up a couple hundred layers and we're not getting any fusing, which on other cutters, panels were fusing and every panel we need to to pull off, which was uh, a lot of work and really expensive. So Tuca really solved that issue for us. At ultrasonic welding machines do a good job with melting either like polyethylene film or polypropylene SMS. It operates just like a sewing machine, but melts the panels together. We have this cutting technology. There's a lot more products that we can make. Now we're retooling it for, for body armor and retooling it for other products for the Marine Corps. So we're doing a lot of made to order for our own brand and then for some other brands as well. Customers in the United States want something really quick and brands don't want to hold inventory. Uh, the United States is a great place to do your manufacturing. So you don't need to airship things from, from overseas, which can be really expensive. We want to manufacture everything in the United States to compete with other countries. We really need to keep innovating. Innovation happens in factories. It really does. If you're gonna do it overseas, you have to be there. When we were manufacturing everything in China, we would say our number one rule was go to China. You can't make a product if you're not at the factory. If you're not at the factory, things don't tend to go right. Even if their costs are a little bit higher by doing things in America, the fact that you're controlling the product and the quality, there's a really big advantage there. I would encourage a lot of new, newer brands who haven't already established an overseas supply chain to really consider doing it in America. It's so much harder for a brand that has been manufacturing overseas to like change your supply chain from overseas back to America. It's very difficult. And for your company, when you control that yourself, you control your own destiny in the sense that you can make your product better, you can reduce your cost, keep innovating and investing in new technology and new equipment that's gonna get your output higher and quality improved and lead time shortened. That's gonna make it cost effective to do things in the United States.